right there. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Polly. Today we'll be gold mining on a spot where I really have limited access because the water's usually too high to access the spot or it's way too low and I just go sniping somewhere else. So I've actually only been here one time before with our friend Jordan where I used a metal detector and actually found some good gold. I did a quick test pan and found some decent gold. So today we're gonna work here and see what we find. I've never had access this way, so I had to build the trail down. Whoa, slippery. <gasps> I see the river. So it's a bit loud here today because the water level is up, but I'm super excited that I can actually access the spot right now. I know there's a ton of gold sitting along this bedrock here. We're sitting on an inside bend and I believe we are on the line of gold. So the test pen I did earlier was from right here. So I'm just gonna work this bedrock and see if we can find more. I actually didn't know I was mining today, so I didn't bring any, any scoop or spoon. I did bring my wetsuit today in case I change my mind and want to go sniping. And number two. Okay. Oh, I didn't, hey, one sec, let me try that again. It's hard to do this with one hand, but we have four little pieces of fly poop. So there's gold here, let's continue. So, uh, blah, 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 crevices. So our very next pan is looking way better. So that's good. Now I just finished cleaning that spot. So I'm gonna have to find a new spot now. So I noticed over 70% of you aren't subscribed to Pioneer Poly. If you wanna see more of these videos, please hit subscribe and that bell notification so you don't miss a future upload. So I'm just walking around with the smell detector here and I came across a signal in this little crack. It's kind of faint, but uh, we're gonna dig it out. This is actually hard to do when you have such little water flow. If there's a lot of water flow, I could snipe it. If there's none, I could dig it. But this just seems a bit hard. Now if it's gold, it's gonna be like showing right there. But I don't see anything yet. If I clear some more of this out of the way, we'll create a little bit more flow to help me combat any dirt and debris that gets in our way. So something's obviously still there. All right, let's keep trying. It's so hard to see. I just moved some bedrock. I'm trying to fan with my hands. Oh, oh there it is. Oh man, yeah. There's a piece of gold, but I just put more gravel on it. I don't know if you guys can see that, right in the water. Right there. <laughs> there she, oh, it's like a, looks like a B2 bomber. It's like a triangle piece. Yeah, this is why you need tweezers. <laughs> can get it, mommy. Oh, there we go. Look at that little guy. Oh, it has some sickness to it too, wow. Nice. Now hopefully there's more. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, there's two. There's two, baby. So our target is somewhere up here. I think this is kind of where we started. So since my hands are cold right now, I'm gonna save this spot for a little bit and I'm gonna use up our battery kind of looking around for other spots. Rest assured, whatever is in this crack, it's not going anywhere. So our detector just died, so I'm gonna do some panning around this area, maybe some crevicing, and then if I get bored, I'll put on the wetsuit and see where I can snipe. So, just as I thought, the moment I grabbed my pan, I threw it back down and put on my wetsuit. Ow. Sorry. Oh, there you go. Can I, can I film that? Can I yeah, that? absolutely, yeah, really, really nice. So my mining partner ended up finding this little guy. Boy, howdy. Okay, let's see what there is. So the first thing I noticed outside of water was this metal bar. I'll grab it later. I dug out maybe five good looking spots, but came out with nothing until I finally found something. After looking all over the place, I found our first piece of underwater gold. This little piece was really wedged in there. 
It took a few attempts before I finally got it loose. But I couldn't even suck it up with the snuffer, so I threw the camera down and just picked it up with my fingers. After having my two second break, I found this little area that was loaded in fine gold. Some of the pieces you can't see in here, so I'm just sort of pointing the camera in its direction. So I'm not really finding much while under the water. I kind of wish I stuck to gold panning for the day. Once I finish my lunch, I'm gonna go back in the water for a little bit, see if I can't find a new spot. And if I have time, I'll go back to the gold pan and see if we can uh, do that for the rest of the day. Okay, so now I am back in my regular dry clothes. I did find gold while sniping, so that is a bonus. But also, I didn't expect to make a video today. I only came here to build a trail down to the river, so another bonus. It is starting to get a little dark now, so I don't know how much time we have with our gold pan, but let's see if we can find at least a couple flakes before we go. <laughs> yeah. Some of you might be wondering why I didn't go back to the other spot where we had our second signal with the detector. The person I'm with went back over there to see what he could find, couldn't find anything. I tried again, I don't know what it was. So I'm back at our original spot, but this time I'm gonna try I don't know, actually. Right here. Yeah. Everything's super soft, so that's not really, not really a good sign. You will find gold in here, but you wanna find those areas where the rocks are packed in there. I mean, this stuff right here is all right. It's kind of like packed clay and a little bit of dead roots. These pants are awesome. The built-in knee pads. Thank you, Jake. One piece. All right, it's starting to get dark, so I had to turn on my light. So, this is what we are looking at. Not too big. We got a bunch of micros and a few nice chunky pieces. I'm curious to know what that triangle piece weighs as it's probably the biggest piece I've found over here in a long time. Well, I've only been here twice. Okay, let's go back home and weigh it. So here is the gold we found. It's not bad considering I was only there to make a trail. So let's weigh our hugest, biggest, hugest nugget of the day. Point, uh, come on, point five five grams. I thought it was gonna be an ounce. Now the little stuff. For sure five ounces. Point seven one grams. Now I'm not gonna take this out till next year. I'm gonna try to add to this before the month is over. All right, so not a bad day considering I only went there to make a trail. And yes, I'm wearing a different hat because for one, I love this guy's business and two, my toque is in the wash. Right now, while you're watching this video, I'm currently in New Zealand looking for gold with Abyss Dredging. I've always wanted to dredge and now I'm finally doing it. So please stay tuned by watching this channel or following me on my Facebook or Instagram pages to keep updated. My goal is to beat two ounces of gold by the end of the year, which I'm pretty sure we're gonna do. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. If you wanna see some exclusive stuff, I also have a Patreon account open for your pleasure. But that is it for me, so thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Until the next one, more videos for you to enjoy.